it's November, which means it's Christmas time because uh, Christmas is in November. And uh, what better way to celebrate the Christmas than a new movie from uh, the director of uh, Ghost Catchers is called The Least Christmas. Oh, this is such a heartwarming, really funny romantic comedy, and it stars. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! Out of the chair! I'm reviewing this one. Oh, come on, man! I, I love this movie so much. I want to talk about it. I want to tell everybody. No, 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 look, I know you're going to say a whole bunch of great things about it. I know you're going to glorify how wonderful you thought it was. But honestly, this time around, I need to tell the people just how freaking bad this movie is. You are seriously such a jerk. Hello everybody and welcome to my review of Last Christmas, a Christmas romantic comedy directed by Paul Feig and starring Amelia Clark and Henry Golding. Now look, before I get into this review, uh, look, I totally understand. There are going to be some people out there who really enjoyed this movie, okay? And that is totally cool. I'm really, really happy for everyone who loved this movie, uh, but look. I don't really have a lot of good to say about it, so I'm just imploring you now, if you like this movie and you don't want to watch some guy sitting there absolutely tearing it to shreds, just turn this review off, okay? Go about your life, enjoy it, just just ignore everything that the haters have to say, and, and go on liking this movie. Oh, fuck this movie. Oh. So this movie tells the story of a girl named Kate, who's played by Amelia Clark, and Kate is basically an obnoxious, self-centered kind of crappy person who uh, is just having one misfortune after the other. Her life is a complete pile of shit. And she meets this guy who, you know, kind of helps her change her ways uh, at Christmas time in a world that apparently George Michael is the only recording artist who ever lived. All right, so... <sighs> You know, I was kind of reluctant to see this movie. Like, look, I I like Christmas movies. I like romantic comedies. I like Amelia Clark. I like some of Paul Feig's stuff. I think that guy's a little overrated. Like, I mean, I know he created Freaks and Geeks. He did work with The Office. Uh, Bridesmaids is such a good movie. Look, I even liked Ghostbusters, okay? I didn't love it, but I thought it was entertaining. But movies like Spy and Heat and a couple of other things he's done, a simple favor was eh. Like, yeah, I don't know, he's a bit hit and miss for me. But yeah, this movie just didn't really grab me from the trailers, but I thought, look, I'll go see it. Uh, Cause a friend of mine told me that she really enjoyed it. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put all of my faith and trust in you. <laughs> So anyway, I've just got back from seeing it and oh my god, it is one of the worst movies I've seen this year. There is no question. Um, where do I start? The script is terrible. It is really bad. This was co-written by Emma Thompson, who is a heavyweight in the movie industry. Like, she's a, a great actress, but uh, I don't know who else she wrote the script with. There were two names, but it's bad. Like, all the so-called jokes just felt like written jokes. Um, you know, to compare it, like, last night I rewatched Fighting With My Family, which to me is one of the best movies of this year. And, you know, you look at that film, you listen to the dialogue, like, all the jokes are just so natural. They just feel like actual part of the dialogue. This movie, it just felt written. It just felt like the actors were just reciting lines. To which I say the performances weren't that great. Um, I just don't think anyone really knew what their characters were meant to be. Save for Emma Thompson. She was actually good. She convinced me as uh, Amelia Clark's Yugoslavian mum. Not just the accent, but her mannerisms and everything. I thought, yeah, she was actually pretty bang on. But as far as Amelia Clark goes, I never really bought that her character was this egocentric, uh, you know, failure in life. Um, I don't know, she played it too cutesy and nice and likeable and yeah, I was conflicted about like her character and so I never really believed in her. Just the overall direction, like the whole movie just was bland, like there was no style to it, there was 
nothing that made it pop. There was no cinematography that was interesting. There was just nothing really happened that was of any interest. And the overall message, uh, which I'm guessing was, you know, about making amends in your life and stuff, just happened too easily and conveniently. This character didn't have to do anything in order to become a better person. Like, you know, she just basically went around to the people that she had done wrongs with, like, be big or small, and just kind of did something little to, you know, say sorry, and by the end, everybody loves her. There was a whole bunch of side characters that just were totally pointless, completely meaningless. Uh, Michelle Yeoh, who is a, another great actress, uh, plays Kate's boss in the film, who runs this Christmas store, and there's this whole subplot of her and this guy who is, uh, you know, they, they both like each other and they're, they're trying to connect. Um, but it goes nowhere and is just totally pointless. It doesn't serve any relevance to the plot at all. We've got these two police women who just keep showing up and they do nothing. Just every single character in this movie, including the leads, just just served no purpose. And it's pretty common knowledge now that there is a big twist in the film and oh my god, it's one of those twists that had me sitting there literally burying my face into my hand because it felt so forced and kind of predictable if you just think about the lyrics to the song Last Christmas. Uh, you know where it's going, um, and by the time the twist comes around, it kind of makes the movie even more shit, because you're sort of sitting there thinking about the movie and what's happened, and you're just kind of like, well, I kind of hate her character even more now. Oh god, what else can I say about this? And you know, look, I I tried to find good in this film, you know, I, I mean, from the beginning it kind of lost me, like I didn't feel it was a very cohesive film, and that's the thing as well, like, the, the whole film was, the plot was so flimsy, it was just a bunch of scenes strung together with the barest thread of a plot. But at the start of this thing, like, I was kind of thinking to myself, okay, like, give it a chance, you know, like, y you might like it, and I was really trying to, and I was even sitting there thinking to myself, there's gonna be people who like this movie, so, so, you know, just, just tap into what they might have been feeling, but I couldn't, and yeah, I honestly walked out of this film kind of angry. So, look, yeah, that being said, I would not recommend this film. I am going to wake up tomorrow morning having forgotten all about it. Uh, it is completely forgettable. It's one of the most bland movies I've ever seen in my life. It is just utterly pointless. It tried to have a point. It tried to have some heart. I could tell that it was trying to convey a message, you know, about redeeming yourself and stuff, but Oh my god, it failed so, so miserably, and I'm going to give Last Christmas a 1 out of 10. Alright, so there you go. That's what I thought of Last Christmas. I do not recommend going to see it. If you are one of these people, though, who actually did like it and you didn't heed my warning at the start and you actually watched me ranting about it, uh, again, I apologize, but let me know what you liked about the film, because, yeah, look, like I said, I know there are going to be some people out there who liked it, and I tried, but I really couldn't. So far away, let me know what you thought of it. Drop me some comments, either here, Facebook, or Twitter. All the social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. Catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now, so what have you got to lose? Nah.